Hello, um, people, to fish, tube fishiminado, aficionados out there. I don't know what I'm doing. We have cameras set up in places that are completely unnecessary, but the cameras were on from the last video, so you will see angles where you go like, why are they filming that? Well, because they're here. Um, you're gonna ask yourself, why are there freaky transitions and stupid things happening in this video? Because Glenn Fricker is switching over there, so I can't help it. What can you do? Uh, yeah, I, I kind of figured out Henning's switchboard and kind of added some interesting transitions that he never uses. I thought, hey, cool, we got some cheesy ass wipes. You know, Canadian help. Um, I'm gonna get so much shit from Canadians now. So, uh, what are we testing? Something I have no idea about because I don't know electronic y things. Absolutely none, which is why this thing is great. When you have one amp, and you have to get it serviced, that's your baby, you bring it to the service department station, whatever, to someone that knows filaments and warm thing and L6s and all that stuff. I know nothing about that. But you're, that one baby, okay. If you have two or three, it can get kind of like, you know, you, pricey and driving and all that stuff. I never know, do I have to exchange my tubes? Are those tubes still good? What even is a tube? Or valve, as they say in the British place aisle thing. Um, so, for someone that has a shop, having something to test valve, tubes, Röhren in German, <clears throat> is great. For someone who has a lot of amps, great. For someone who wants to try different valves, tubes, Röhren in their amps, it's great. Um, and so Orange and my uh, buddy Neil and Charlie, who are awesome at Orange, said, Hey, test this. You know shit, so you're the perfect person for that. And they are right. I mean, that are no shit. So here's the orange valve tester, definitely placing it into the British Isles because it doesn't say, you know, tube. Um, it's pretty heavy. Um, and it is not a thing you buy for 20 bucks. This thing does clock in over 300 euro because it's a professional tool. Yet, if you are a, <coughs> a professional type shop, or someone who's very serious about his uh, amps and you know needs to replace tubes, um, then this is a good idea. Here are instructions. What is this? Amplifier biasing background information. Oh, maybe I should have read this. No, I don't do these things. Revolutionary valve tester. The benefits and I added a pamphlety thing. Nice. Um, Charlie explained to me that you uh, can even. Uh, just if you have a whole bunch of tubes, plug them in, plug them in, plug them in. If it gives you the same value for said tubes, you don't have to bias. So if you find tubes that are matching, no biasing necessary. So it could actually save you trips. The packaging is divine. Um, and it is a very sexy, sleek and slender product. Look at it from the side with a little... Okay, Glenn, we'll do the same. Look at it from the side. Uh, now he's not switching. Um, it is a, like an offset thing, slanted. What you can't see, let me show you this here, is there are these very, very thin, tiny pieces of rubber here. Almost invisible to the naked human eye. Whatever that means. To the naked eye? What's a naked eye? Ah, without glasses. I get it. Um, so, oh, this is a... Very neat product. Caution, risk of electric shock, do not open. Okay, we're not doing that. Takes 19 volt, 3.4 amps. So you have to use the power supply. I'm going to smack this on the table. And we're going to explore it together. Because I don't know how it works. So we're going to put this right here. I'm going to move the rev pedal. <clears throat> there, doesn't this look almost le perfect? Here we go. <coughs> Apparently, OK is the on switch. There's an online manual, OK? Hmm. OK. Well, let me, let me, let me read you this. In approximately two minutes, the VT1000, is that what it is? <clears throat> Valve Tester 1000 performs an extensive series of tests including heater filament test short circuit, heater filament test open circuit, heater filament test tolerance check, heater cathode insulation leakage, heater cathode insulation short circuit, test for heater current abnormalities, amplification factor, voltage gain, power gain, screen grid test, neutral conductance test, dual test for double triodes emission, inter leakage, inter short circuit, flash over architecture high voltage breakdown, gas ionization test, and incorporates pattern planning technology. 
Now, isn't that a good product? So let's uh, let's find out if I can actually figure this out. I have a whole bunch of tubes here. Let's see. I have these. What are these? KT66. These are big ass, big ass tubes. And I'll just plug a K These are new. Um, I don't have, actually with everything I have, I don't have any um, uh, uh, preamp tubes. I don't have any spare preamp tubes. Very sad, so I can test it. They're, they're all in amps. Um, so. Why in the world would that fail? Glenn says it's operator error. <clears throat> well, it's supposed to show you a matching number, which is the something electricity that's used when it's not being used. And that number, if you have another tube that has that number, you can match them. Why did it fail? So now I called up the manual, and as stupid as I am, of course, there's a video called Henning is a Dumbass. I mean, maybe, maybe that's true. Um, as stupid as I am, um, I just put it on the table and plugged it in. Uh. So Glenn came down here and schooled me in, dude, you have to pick the valve first and define the type, which then I called up the manual and for some reason that I don't know Glenn is right. So yeah, you have to actually, with the left and right buttons, define what uh, tube you put in there, which in this case, we put an ER34 in there. Um, these uh, flashy lights show you how long it takes, and we're almost done, it takes about two minutes. And now it should almost be done and give us a number. It's good, and it's 12. So, um, there we go. Hey, Joyo said they matched them. Should we check it? So this is a Joyo ER34, right? No, where'd you get this? You didn't grab the Joyos, you grabbed... Where did... Uh, this is the, what the groove tubes, right? Well, you would assume that the groove tubes... No, these are electroharmonics. Glenn, 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 I don't think you have to do that. We recommend, we recommend using protective gloves when handling it. No. Okay, see, now you can go back and forth, which I didn't do. EO34, okay. And now it's doing its thing. I think these, yeah, these are joy, uh, the, the, these that are used. What the? Um, they were from the, from the Joyo amp. <clears throat> So that means that the KT66 I tried to test is, of course, okay. I, it just tried to test it as an ER34, because I'm an idiot. So hypothetically, if Joyo did their job right, this should come up as a 12, right? That is pretty ultra easy. I mean, come on. Takes two minutes, you know, if you have to replace your tube. Um, and you can even match them yourself. I wonder if you went into a store and took that with you, if they just gave you a couple of tubes to find out, to test them yourself, and then you go home with two tubes that are matched, which means you don't have to actually do biasing yourself. You think they would do that, Glenn? Probably not, they're telling me to get the fuck out. Um, okay, almost done. So red means valve has failed, or you defined the wrong valve. Um, and yellow also, uh, 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 one also means, you know, new one, please, quickly. So there's, uh, again, <clears throat> the matching value from 1 to 15. What's the matching value for double triode preamp valves? Ah, oh, okay, preamp valves, that's different. Read the damn manual! So we're almost done. What was the 12, right? I like this box. This is going to really help around here. <sighs> well, what can you do? So, no. The, the ones that they say are matched are actually not matched, according to... I mean, at least it's good. They both are good. But let me see. Because on here, there's values that they measured. Uh, maybe they have different tolerances. 
Because Joyo said, this is a 403 MA and this is a 406 MA or 40.3 or 40.6. I don't know what those things mean. <clears throat> and 511 and 532. So they, there are different values, but Joyo determined those two as close enough to match in an amp. Whereas the orange valve tube Röhren tester says, nah, -ah, close, but no cigar. So who do we trust now? Glenn. Joyo. He says Joyo. Eh, you decide who you trust. Um, I would look for another one with a 12 or another one with a 13. Um, this is neat. This, yeah, it clocks in between three and four hundred bucks, but if you have a shit ton of amps and Gesundheit, um, if you have a shit ton of amps and not knowing about tubes and, hey, are these still good? Oh, Glenn, you have five more minutes, so we can do one more test. Four minutes. Four minutes. We can do it. It takes, only takes two minutes. These I took out of an amp because I didn't know if they were still good. So let's test it. These are 84s. These are actually used. Okay. Where's 84? 84. Go. I'm curious now because I replaced them because I assumed that, you know, they're old. But as we've clearly determined, I don't know anything. I play amps. I don't know. I say the word filaments and I don't know what it is. It's a kili pedal called the filaments. I'll show you why that's doing its thing. Remember this one, Glenn? We actually tested that when you were here last time. Where's Glenn going? Glenn is launching a video, apparently. Well, I'll be my own switch bitch then. Yeah, no, no, I got no, no, I'll be, I'll do it. Okay, yeah. I can switch bitch myself. Oh. Oh. Glenn has to launch a video because if he doesn't launch at four, dude, his fans get nuts. <laughs> so, what are the, what do the buttons do here? What does that do? Oh, that's good. And then we have an amp button. There we go. It's letting you know how long it takes with the uh, weight. So this is kind of like a clock. So apparently, this one is good. Oh, there you go. This is weird. Now I want to know about the other one and if they were actually matching to begin with. I thought they're, they're done. Now I'm actually having fun because this tube, that uh, valve, that I thought was broken, which I took out of my old Loboga when I replaced him, um, has no problems. Orange to be testy thing says it's good. Now I'm testing its brother whose box I just destroyed. Um, or sister, we don't want to be sexist when it comes to tubes. Um, and see if it's also a 10. Well, that sounded sexist right there. Um... Glenn's dying back there. The cats are killing him. Yeah. Uh, allergies. Yeah. So, uh, what, what's the thing doing its thing? It's an 11. I pulled them out of the same amp. Who's matching those? Orange amp tester says, oh no, orange valve tester says 10 and 11. Whoever's matching, I don't know what they're using, who knows. But I would trust that thing and uh, good to have it. I like it. Again, it's not the thing that you buy if you have an amp or two. <clears throat> but if you have a nice collection um, and you have a whole bunch of tubes and you want to do it right, and not break your amp and not weigh out your tubes and know, you know, that you have the right stuff. The orange valve tester is something... What's it even called? Valve tester. I'm keeping that. <laughs> not letting that go. Um, thanks, Charlie. Uh, animals at the end. Thanks, Glenn. I hope the pills work. 
You gonna say bye, Glenn? Bye, Glenn. God, you're so funny. Wow. <laughs>